I'm not asking for very much. I'm using the highest price point possible, which is Card Kingdom retail. And I'm doing my cost, which is my cash. So I don't pay $29.99. Now, if you pay $29.99 for this, I can tell you that you are not going to break. You might break even, but there's no way that you, there's much more likelihood that you will go to zero or very close to zero. I have uh, the quality of packs are not very good, in my opinion. I'd much rather continue to just open Baldur's Gate instead of these. I don't actually know the price of some of these cards. Clearly, right, that wolf that right there is $15. Again, maybe we can pull something good, maybe we don't. I mean, I didn't know that the wolf was valuable until I... Cemetery Gatekeeper, this is like a dollar. Um, the one thing I will say is I pulled a lot of Mythics from this set, so it is a dollar. Um, again, I'll probably just count it as a dollar. We're gonna put the hamster set. Hopefully we pull something good from the hamster set. Baldur's Gate Free is really, really good. I have a much better appreciation of these cards and it feels like I'm opening like Weiss or something. Um, I just love it. I think it's really cool that you pull cards from a game that you play. Bald, Baldur Gate. Now I'm gonna try to remember like if I know any of these characters. Street Urchin, oh, Dragon. Arcane Signet, that card has been reprinted a million times. Still has some value to it. What is that? Oh, it's like somebody like put a gum on it or something. Okay. Okay. And... Okay. Oh, and Twilight Prop. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, that was interesting. You cannot say that was not an interesting pack. That definitely was quite interesting. I got an adventure. I got an arcane signet. What more can I ask? All right, we're gonna go with the second. This is, I'm hoping for Copper Dragon, and then I'm basically doubling my money. But Copper Dragon is very hard. I'm hoping for any dragon. I've opened enough of this. I feel like Citadel, Citadel Gate is a good one. This card used to be worth money, not anymore. Armor, Shadows, Guiding Bolt. Topaz, Emerald, Merchant, Bala, Lord of Murder. Yes, this guy is the big baddie, so I remember him. Baldur's Gate. All right, Baldur's Gate. Okay. We got two rares, including a character I recognize, but he's not very good. I think he's the character, right? Bala, Lord of Murder. Sounds correct to me. All right, now we open the free other packs. That, that, oh man, that was brutal. Crimson Val, let's hopefully get a land. I have been very, very land light. You know, like I, I feel like I, I deserve a land. A land is a great card in this set because it's one of the only cards that are rare that can break even. Okay, here we go. Lot, oh, dying to serve. Mountain, Bloodkeeper. Blood Caster. Okay, another double rare card. I mean, you, I, I don't feel too good about this. You know, I don't feel too good about this at all. We haven't really, I mean, maybe there's a card like that Hollow Hens Wolf Lord, Overlord, that's worth like $15. I just don't know because I haven't opened enough of this set to real, know what cards are valuable. Delvers, you hear something on Watts. Does every pack have a unicorn? Because light for ray, ray of frost. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Until end of turn, it becomes a free free black beholder with menace. And whenever a creature attacks, exile target card from defending player's graveyard, it's still a land. Again, no idea. No idea if that's good or not. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the land cycle is good. I, I know if that was a land in the other cycle, it would be very good. Uh, it would be a, a 10, 20 dollar land. But it seems like that land cycle here is not as good. Oh, I think we're gonna take an L to the face. Guys, I think we're gonna take the L to the face. Unless like there's a miracle. Starling Wolf, Flare Faith, we need a little faith. Oh, cool card, but holy moly. 
Really cool artwork, just not a good card. Oh, Pyre. What is this? Okay, I mean, they're giving us... I mean, you cannot complain. I <laughs> count up how many rares they gave us. They definitely... I mean, they gave us the opportunities. One, two, three, four... We're going to do, like, extra rares and foil. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we opened... No, we opened six packs and we got 10 rares or mythics. Oh, maybe this one, if people love vampire, maybe this one's like $15 or something. Flying Ascend, you, if you control 10 more permits, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have the city's blessing, reveal the top card of your library and put it in your hand. Each opponent loses X life and you gain X life where X is the converted mana cost. So Ascend, if you control 10 or more permanent, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. 10 permanent, that's a lot. I don't really know if that makes sense. Seems like it would be a lot to invest in that. I mean, well, who knows? I mean, that, that's the interesting part about these packs. I, I am having a lot more fun. It's a lot of fun when you like pull this card, you think it's absolute garbage. And then it comes out to be like the most expensive card you pulled out of like a whole box of like, I mean, yeah. And then you pull this card and you think it's, oh, this card is beautiful, right? Like how could it not be worth a ton of money? And it's like worth four bucks, right? <laughs> so I'm, I'm struggling right now. I, I think this guy might be worth some money. Like I remember, I, I kind of remember this guy was worth some money. I know this guy is not worth money. I know these are dollars cards that we might not even calculate. It depends on how desperate I am. This card might be interesting. I don't even remember what set it's from. It's a set with, that looks like that. So I don't remember what set it is from. It's from the list. So, yeah, 